Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the latest retro on the Dice Tower. Checking out some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Hero Clicks con exclusives for 2017. Again, my name is Brian Drake. If you hadn't seen the Marvel or the DC version of this, make sure to check out those videos here for the game Hero Clicks. Hero Clicks is a fantastic game of superhero chess, right? And in 2016, they decided to add the Ninja Turtles to this mix. So you've got thousands of superheroes to pick from. The most obscure um, superheroes you can think of. Every version of the Flash has ever been, you know, made, which the Flash set is still my favorite set, by the way. Here's the deal. Ninja Turtles joined in 2016. I was like, no way is this going to be cool. I've got a good friend of mine who is just obsessed with these clicks. He has all, this, all of them except the chases, I think. And I was like, when they started coming out, I was like, there's no way these are going to be any good. Um, boy, was I wrong. I got wrecked by a Bebop, Rocksteady, uh, Shredder, and Foot Soldier combo. The other, I'm just wrecked because of the combo, them pulling off action tokens and all, etc. Beautiful combo. But the Conic Scooches this time are a little bit more strange characters here. Right now, starting off, you got this Cyber Shredder. And then you've got Pizza Face. Let's take a look at what the dials have to show. You can pause it and kind of take a look at those dials. And we'll come back up and talk about them. So here we've got the Ninja Turtles con exclusive. We've got Pizza Face and Cyber Shredder. Pretty neat looking stuff here. I'll, I'll let you pause it and take a look. Pizza Face comes with a pizza, living pizza pog, which is pretty great. Uh, you gotta love tiny size poison, always a good thing. And then, uh, you know, what has he got that on the bottom dial there? That's pretty great. Support, is that what it is? Wow, okay, so that's uh, it's an interesting because he can heal you, <laughs> you know, he can try to heal you with an eight, but granted, uh, What's Pizza Face's defense? It's not a, not an impossible hit to hit right there. So pretty cool little thing. Poison and support. Also, you can see where he spawns the living pizzas and stuff there. Here is his dial here. If you want to kind of take a look, see that special power to pause it on the other side. Uh, here, or you can go to whizkids.com. I think Pizza Face is on there. Cyber Shredder, check this out. A four target mind control. If the hit character's targets are uh, combined point values are uh, less than his, you can target all four, but if they're more, you can only pick one of those targets which is pretty crazy, actually. Um, then you see the rest of them there, and then on the back you can see kind of his point cost and such, and um, his other abilities. Pizza face, right? So, interesting choice. He's got some traits, he's got some special powers, you know, mind control with a range of value of eight. When he does, you may choose to modify Pizza Face's attack value by three. If you do, after action is resolved, heal the hit target in one click. Kind of an interesting payoff. I guess you're feeding the enemy pizzas after you smack them around with the pizza. Uh, you got the living pizza token, which is cool. You got, I love anything that drops a pog. I really do. I still think of the uh, Tony Zuko with the uh, Dick Grayson one. But uh, Pizza Face is a cool, uh, a really cool kind of exclusive piece because you got that living pizza just roaming around out there uh, with some good powers. I mean, you got support so he can, he can heal your Pizza Face. Next up, you've got Cyber Shredder. So this is from the 2003 animated series. I know that because it says it right here on the card, but uh, Cyber Shredder is pretty interesting. You see that four target mind control. I like that, but then he's got charge, uh, what is it, charge blades? Yeah, or charge flurry. He's got charge flurry, and then he goes into that uh, the defense power, which he's got impervious. When, this is stu this is ridiculous, actually. It says Cyber Shredder can use impervious when an adjacent character attacks Cyber Shredder and takes no damage from the attack, place a counterattack token on Cyber Shredder. At the beginning of your turn, remove all counterattack tokens. Cyber Shredder may make a close attack, increasing his attack value by one for each removed marker. So I'm making sure that it says what I think it says. Cyber Shredder can use Impervious. When adjacent opposing character attacks, Cyber Shredder and takes no damage. Yeah, so if Impervious works, you get one of these counterattack tokens and you can just smack somebody back. That is so cool. It's a super Impervious, as if Impervious wasn't good enough already. Cyber Shredder is an interesting sculpt. I'm not familiar with this character, but uh, he looks very, it looks like. Like if, if you picked it up, you would think this was a Yu-Gi-Oh piece on there because the way he looks. But uh, a lot of good potential there, you know. Perplex when it gets the third dial. And then he's got uh, he's got that special um, damage power again. Opposing characters can't target other characters that are more than uh, five or more squares away from themselves. That's pretty sweet. Uh, shutting down range characters, you know. So that's pretty neat. I wonder how that plays with Nick Fury and those kind of characters. But... That is the Ninja Turtles con excuses for 2017 from HeroClix. Make sure you stop by at WizKids booth or play in some of the Battle Royales to pick these things up. That wraps us up for all the 2017 con excuses. If you didn't check out the DC or Marvel video, check those out here. But this is a good year for con excuses. Uh, they've also got the, uh, the, the Pym tank and Giant Man. It's just a good year for Hero Clicks. 2017 is going to be incredible. Not to mention the five-figure booster set that's coming, I believe, with like the Elseworld set. 
I absolutely cannot wait for that. So it's going to be an incredible year. So next up video, we're going to unbox these. We're going to take a look at some of the combos, take a look at some of the pieces and see what Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 has for us. Remember, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 was an incredible movie set. It kicked off a lot of people getting into the game. So let's go from there and see what this box has to show for us. We'll see you next time. Let's take a look at those. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.